Hey people, this is a pilgrim and I'm finally on Extinction. Uh, got a few hours in on it last night after it downloaded and I ended up staying on it till about half six this morning. Uh, it's just absolutely awesome. Graphics are beautiful, gameplay is great. Uh, not running into any major glitches or anything like that either. Uh, t today, like this morning, I've been playing around with spawning in some new creatures. Uh, there's not anything up on the wiki yet, so I'd look through the program files and found the path and put that little code together that they usually have on there. Uh, so I can just spawn things in basically. Uh, if you're on single player, all you have to do is put enable cheats in, admins enable cheats in your password. Uh, and these codes and you should be good to go. Basically, if you want to check it out, uh, I went to program files, uh, Steam, Steam apps, common, arc, shoot a game, content, and then in there you've got extinction, which is the, the path to the, all the new creatures. You've also got Primal Earth, which is the original game, and you've got Scorched Earth and Aberration as well. So it was just pretty simple to find, really. Um, in there you've got your dinos, and basically every name there is all, is all the new creatures. The only one that I found was different was Gas Bag. Yeah, you have to put Gas Bags on, but I'll show you that later. Yeah, so like I said before, on single player, just stick in Enable Cheats and then all these calls should be good. Uh, for admins, it's Enable Cheats and your password. Uh, these ones at the top are all for the Keiju. And they spawn in with the saddle, so you're good to go. You might need the admin cheat force tame because once they come out, they're obviously they're not tamed. Um, so that's all I did. I went on the, the, this here and it's just game, extinction, dinos. Um, owl, owl character blueprint, owl character blueprint again with the thing and then uh, 500, I can't remember what the number's for, for some reason but the 3, 5, uh, 35 is just your, your level it's going to spawn in at so you can pick whatever, so like uh, pick like 350 and that'll spawn in at 350 and then I've put all the codes for the saddles there as well I missed the number off So what I'll do, I'll spawn in a saddle for the owl first and then spawn one in quick. I'll get further down here so it doesn't attack everybody. When you put in the code for the saddle, oh, there we go, that's spawned in, that works. Yeah, when you put in the code for the saddle, there's the three numbers at the end. So the first number is how many saddles you want, and then there's two zeros. If you change the middle zero to, say, 10 12 15 something like that you'll get like a journeyman mastercraft um i think I put like 22 in here and i've uh, got an ascendant saddle so just so you know in case you want to have a play around with that right i'll spawn in the owl uh what i'm gonna do i've got a uh, acm mod on my server so i can just use that to force tame it all you've got to do is put it in the thing at the bottom and just catch it as it flies by or whatever as it's trying to kill you got uh, tame active now so i can just sort of right click and tame it when I spawn it in. Right, this is the first one. Just type this code out somewhere so you can sort of copy paste it all the time. And then it's tab, open up that at the bottom and just uh, paste it into there, just control V straight in. I actually caught up this, the uh, saddle code with that as well, I was just deleting it. Go, 350 Al. Started. Yeah, that spawn code works fine. <laughs> this this owl is going to become one of my favourite pets. I think just the, the graphics on it and everything are amazing, and it's got some really unique things you can do with it as well. It's got a thermal vision. It's got an eye shield that heals you as well while you're in it. Um, I'll show a little bit of it off at, at the end of the video. I'll just get all the spawn codes done for now. Right, next one's the Enforcer. It's the code, doesn't seem like he needs a saddle. I tried it before. Paste it into there, and I'm just gonna put a different level in for him. The normal spawning level. There he is. Make sure he's on passive as well. Right, it's so the Gatcher up next, I'll just spawn the saddle in quick. Um, 
There's the code for it. Just change the, the level on here and then I can save it. There we go. This is the, the giant ground sloth. They look really cool in, in the uh, video and stuff, you know, the reveal trailers and everything. But up close, they are really, really smart. Graphics are really nice on them. The saddle just sits right under the chin. Missed him blending with my suit. <laughs> awesome. Has got a very xenomorph look again. They do like the Aliens films, these uh, wildcard. And you can see it, you can see it in its arms and its skin, look. It's just this xenomorph with a armour over it. Check this out as well, what? You sort of see the eyes poking out there. If you look underneath, it's got another, like, set, like a spider. Or sensory organs, whatever they, what I call them. That's cool. I've got a black one up, up at the top, it's pretty awesome. Alright, let's get a saddle on this guy. With this, this one saddle, you sort of sit in the front of Just chilling out under his neck there, it's brilliant. Really cool. Right, let's spawn the next one in. It's gas bag next. When I, I looked at the code, some of them say gas bag and some of them say gas bags. So I didn't know if it'd be this, you know, the same for the, the spawning command. So I was just trying one um, and that didn't work. So what I ended up doing where you've got like, the, you, you write basically gas bag three times, you know, in the code. Um, so it's gas bag the first time and then gas bags the, the last two times and then that works. There we go. We have a giant cow cross with a caterpillar larva, maybe? Was that the idea? I have no idea. Strange looking thing anyway. Yeah, that has got to be one of our weirdest creations. <laughs> Pretty awesome actually, I do like that. I'm not going flying around in it, apparently they're just mental. Um, we'll get lost. But I will have a quick look at the saddle. Oh, it's sat right back there. Cool. I'll check him out later. Right, let's uh, spawn another one in. Make sure we've got all these codes right. Stuff I'm flying around everywhere. It's a pain in the ass. Right, next one. Right, just get the saddle for this one spawned in. This is the ice jumper. There's the code you're going to need for him. I uh, can't remember his proper name at the moment. We'll see it in a minute though when I tame him. There we go, spawned in. Oh, and he's fucked off. Shit, come back. <laughs> It's the weirdest thing ever, mate. It's like it's the one people were saying was like the never ending story one, weren't it? Uh, a few months ago when people first saw it. But it's just a mishmash of stuff. I don't even know if I like the design on that thing. I have to see. I have to see how, uh, how cool they are to sort of ride around and what they're good for. At the moment, no, nah, not keen on that one.
Right, let's sort the next one out. Get the saddle for it quick. This is spindles. There's the code for it. Just putting a different level in. And there we go, a spindles. I can't remember what its name is again. Oh. I just turned my ATM on and punched it instead. The what? Vel Velonasaur. 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 Almost messed that one up and got myself killed. Check that out. That is really cool. It's that turret mode in it where the um, just constantly fires all them spikes out of its face. Like a walking machine gun, I think they called it. Right, so, uh, I like that. Just noticed these um, saddles haven't got bits on them. Look, they've just put the uh, like a neck brace on them there, and attached that to the thing. I've, I've not liked the bits in the mouths for years, especially like with the T-Rex and the bears. Just makes no sense with them massive, powerful jaws and like a steel bit going through the mouth. They'd just be shattering the teeth and breaking the jaws all the time. He's got a chest harness on. Oh, that's a much better idea. I didn't even notice. bits back too big for its mouth tearing through the graphics ripping into its little sharp needle like teeth yep. its face is ruined <laughs> that was so ridiculous yep disappointed with that Right, next one, uh, it's mechs next, and the um, modules that go on the back with the rockets and stuff, we'll go and do that. Right, on this bit here, um, I've just marked out the code you need, so I'll just stick that in, and you'll get a full mech. There you go, and it's got to be uh, tamed, just like all the other teams. There is a, um, a deconstructed mech you can get, and you can just sort of throw him on the ground and he just appears and I did manage to get it so you could level them up um, and it came out like ascendant I'm sure it did but I can't for the life of me remember what I did plus I just uploaded this whole video to YouTube it took ages and I realized I've missed out like the whole explanation of this bit so I had to reload it again noob <laughs> um, yeah you can't get in him you've got to tame him and um, these are the codes for the modules that go on the back you've got the rocket one shot and the gun and the shield so I'll just go through them quick. This is the cannon module and you need, what is it, cannon shells and you need missiles for that one. Um, because I'm on creative mode, I'm just going to crafting. And weapon. Ammo and there's missiles in there, rocket pod. Click a bunch of them and cannon. Yeah, cannon shells. Um, the other ones before, the look, that's an unassembled mech. Unassembled, what's that? Maybe I spelled it wrong. I don't know. But anyway, you can get them, but you can pick them straight out of there if you need to. I want you sort of in your mech, uh, just the same, like enter the inventory. Let's get all this uh, armor and uh, weapons in there. Put the missile pod in there, and you're ready to rock and roll. Two 
too sure if they're locking onto that thing down there or if it just looks good. I think they're just for like um, mobs of... Uh, I actually had a bit of a fight, you know, next to one of them oh, supply packages that comes down sort of crashes into the ground. And I got to the second wave and it was just complete mayhem. I uh, did it with that gold mech up there last night, it was pretty fun. The gun, I've actually tried the gun out, watch this. Uh, when you take them off they do uh, lose durability, but it actually says that there in the little explanation. The cannon looks awesome, proper Gundam cannon. Look at that. And watch, he goes into like a, 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 a kneeled stance to fire it because it's so powerful. Stabs his sword into the ground to protect, yeah, stop him from recoil. Fucking awesome, that. Uh, the gun didn't want to fire at this point, and I basically ended up messing about for another 20 minutes on the map, and uh, yeah, so. I, I can cut it short here now. You've got all the codes and everything. Um, if you look back, you just pause it and write them down or whatever. Um, if you've got any questions, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Everything should work as far as I can tell. Yeah, if you, um, you get a chance, check out the rest of my channel. It's like 90% building uh, on Arc. And um, yeah, thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you later.